The three core questions that the shaman asks herself or himself. The first one is, who am I? Where do I come from? And the third is, where am I going? We can make our way back to the garden. This is the opportunity we have today. Remember that the shamanic traditions are pre-religious. You can be Christian or Muslim or Jewish or Buddhist or, and still have these nature practices with the elements, with the elements of nature. You can return to your natural state. You can make your way back to that Garden of Eden that we were never really kicked out of we can make our way back to the garden. I was in the Amazon one time working with a shaman and her husband, and we were walking through the rainforest and we get to a clearing, and she says to me, I'll be able to walk across the clearing and notice what happens. And I walk across the clearing, and as soon as I enter the Amazon, the jungle, it's full of song and the parrots and the macaws and the monkeys. The first step, the second step, and the third step, everything stops. And she comes up to me, the old woman comes up and says, see, the animals here, they know that you've been kicked out of the garden. They know that you don't belong here. And I go, sure. And there were two Shipibo Indians at the edge of the river cooking their afternoon meal. They were cooking a boa, a snake, on a spit. And they were collecting the boa fat. And I go up to them and I ask them, can I have some of the boa fat? And they said, sure. And I stripped down to my shorts and I begin putting boa fat on my body, which is reeks. And they're looking at me a little strangely and I go, it's okay, I'm an anthropologist. And I'm convinced that I'm going to go back into the Amazon and the animals are going to smell another snake crawling through the bush going back into the rainforest. And I'm walking back into the rainforest. The first step is full of song. The second step and the third step, everything stops again, except for about 600 flies that I had on me. And it wasn't until 10 years later <clears throat> that I was able to walk back into the rainforest and have it continue singing around me. Nature recognized me as someone who had made his way back to the garden, who had not been an outcast from nature. The animals knew that I was no longer a predator, that I was no longer looking only for my self-interest that number one was no longer Alberto, was all of the rainforest. And they continued to sing around me. This is the opportunity we have today. We can make our way back to the garden. We can recover our natural innocence, that original state where we still spoke with God, we speak with God, with the river, with the trees, and with all of nature. Now, the only problem for the shaman is that the shaman doesn't have a notion of God like Westerners do. Because the, in the West, there's a very clear, in the Abrahamic traditions, in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, there's a very clear definition of, <clears throat> of God. But in the shamanic traditions, the emphasis is not on the creator. The emphasis is on creating and creation. So you become a steward of creation and you participate in creating. Because the theistic religions that are very God-centered are very much focused on sacrifice, on prayer, on the directionality is between the individual and God. 
for the shamans is towards nature and towards creating and co-creating and knowing that you can never be separate from the great spirit. You are infused with it. It's, the, it's all around, it's everything. It's not separate from the creation like in the Western traditions. And the shamanic traditions are experiential. They're founded on your experience. And this is focused on the three core questions that the shaman asks herself or himself. The first one is, who am I? Am I a shaman? Am I an anthropologist? Am I an author? Am I, who am I? And, you, and this has become a practice in the Eastern traditions. It's a practice of a query of finding out who you are. And then when you've asked the question long enough, who am I, who am I, you begin to ask, well, who is it that's asking the question? Until you come back to discover the vastness of who you are. And the second one is, where do I come from? Where do I come from? And the third is, where am I going? And where are we headed to? as a people. And these are the three core questions that religion in the West has tried to answer in a very simplistic way. And that science then came with a better set of answers. Science said, hey, you came from a primordial soup. You are a bunch of molecules and atoms and cells. And who am I becoming? Where am I going? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> and now, we are in the West discovering the practice of self-inquiry that can truly bring us the rich, multifaceted answers to these three essential questions in life. Who am I? Where do I come from? And where am I going?